going to walk across this country in a straight line. Road closed, stop. I'm gonna try to walk in a straight line, so. And oh boy, would I regret these words. What? So my cameraman saw a dog. Oh! We literally just started. So the car that dropped me off was still close and luckily saved my life from this Whoa. massive dog. He's gonna chase my dog. We definitely learned from our mistakes. I'm definitely not gonna go there this time. My heart rate is still 180. <laughs> we had just started and I received my first call. I'm being called right now. Hey, you have a surprise envelope in your bag. It has a couple of tips uh, on your next location. Have some fun and we'll see you there. Okay, that's it. Hello? So that was Scott. Scott is a local of Malta, one of the smallest countries in the world. And we're gonna cross it from left to right, with the Finnish being the capital. And Scott just left me with this envelope. There's 10. Wouldn't be a Malta trip without some epic views. Your first stop has a slimy surprise. Follow the route we sent to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's an hour and 30 minute walk, and it's 6.9 kilometers. Nice. Scott gave me until sunset to complete all this, which is already in like six hours. It is now 2.13 p.m. We're walking slow, but that makes sense. We're still, we're also creating a video. I've got a cameraman right there. Quick shout out to Andre, because this is insane. We just started, maybe he won't survive, but hey, we'll see. Watch out, watch out. We had not seen a moving vehicle for over an hour, but then we saw this coming our way. We're gonna go there. Do you know where this is? Yes. Can you drive us a bit? Oh. Yeah? Yes? Yes. You are a legend, my man. You ready? Yes, let's go. Or actually, am I ready? <laughs> let's go. Is this yours? Yes. What's your name? What do you do? Thank you so much, man. You are a legend. We should be almost there, so that really helped. Thank you, man. That was a very nice guy. It looks like we're in a forgotten city. We made it to the restaurant for the slimy surprise. More than two hours in. 6.9 kilometers walked. We arrived at the restaurant, and I guess hey. the man behind the envelope. So this is the man behind all the challenges. Must be thirsty. I'm very thirsty, yes. It's about time you eat. I'm being in Malta. What else than to try a Maltese traditional dish, which is snails. One kilo of snails. Don't a kilogram. A kilogram of snails. The challenge is simple, Stan. You have to eat them all. And if I fail the challenge? Then you have something else waiting for you at your next location. So enjoy and bon appetit. They're definitely slimy and warm. Cheers, Stan. Okay. You did one, you have like uh, 200 to go. Oh, it came out nice. They were better than I expected. Let's get a second opinion. The cameraman has to give it a try as well. <laughs> Only fair, no? Also, camera guy Andre was getting the full experience. Oh. Oh. Interesting. So quite fast, I realized something. The time was ticking. So I definitely didn't expect it to be that big. I hear that more often. What was that? Look at how many snails are here. There's no way I'm gonna be able to finish a kilogram of snails. I... What a pity, oh no. Wipe your hands off and I'll see you next time, yeah? Challenge number two. It's time to visit Malta's ancient capital city, Amdina. You'll truly have a touristic experience with a smiley face. If you zoom out on the map, it basically looks like we have made no progress. 42 minute walk, 3.4 kilometers. I think I'm in the wrong place again because I saw another private board. <laughs> 1.2 kilometers, 15 minutes left. We're going into the Asian city right now. Pretty busy for an Asian city. 900 meters left until the next challenge. We were already behind on schedule. We need to walk faster, it's crazy. Can I follow you, mate? Take a photo. Of course. Thank you, mate. Let's not do it on the street, yeah. It was a pleasure meeting you, thank Ni you. Nice to meet you. They don't stop here, they don't stop. Oh, the location should be somewhere here. Okay, guys, so we are in, in Dina. Stan has just arrived and he's going to be surprised. Ah, there they are. You are now a tourist. So there's a t-shirt, it's a gift from us. <laughs> what does it say? Of course. <laughs> All right. Whatever we tell you to do, you have to do. As a tourist in Malta. As a tourist in Malta. The woman in orange, can you see the woman in orange? I can see the woman in orange. Ask her to take a photo of you with the church in the background and make the photo all about you. Now give me double biceps, you know, go, go ham, take off your shirt. I'm, I'm sorry, could you take a, could you take a picture yes, of, uh, yes? A picture yeah. of me with the church. Nice. Nice. Stand, stand, attitude, yes. 
Nice. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Now there's a couple coming your way, yeah? Go towards them. You're gonna ask him for a photo, but you're gonna take a photo with his girlfriend. Can I get a picture? Can you take a picture for me? Yes? <laughs> Let me, yes. I will take a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. My girlfriend? Yeah. Why? Because I, I think it's beautiful. Not with my girlfriend. Not with your girlfriend. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I can't take... Yeah? Alone? Okay. Okay. Tell her you're a Gymshark athlete. I'm a, I'm a Gymshark athlete. Very good. Do you guys know Gymshark? Yes, I heard about it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a fitness company, really good. Very so you, you have to check it out. Okay. Thank you guys, thank you guys for taking the picture. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop. Oh my god, you're dying. Oh, I was embarrassed for you, mate. We're gonna find someone, and you're gonna go, listen, excuse me, I need your help, because my coach is pissed. He thinks that I missed my workout today. Can you take a quick picture of me? Yeah. Or video, actually. My, my... I can do both, don't worry. My coach, uh, he, th he thinks I'm on holiday and not working out, which I'm not really doing, but I have to prove to him that I'm... Uh... Give me some star jumps, Dad. That's good, that's good. Oh, nice. Nice. Now randomly tell them, you know I'm a Gymshark athlete? I'm actually a Gymshark athlete. It's a really good company. Oh, oh nice. That's good. Too. You can do a quick video, we're not in a rush right now. You think a video is better? Yeah. You can even run up those stairs. <laughs> That is, down. that is really good. <laughs> was that good? Yeah, that was great. Do you think my coach will be impressed? Yeah, I think yes. so. Yes, thank you guys so much. These ladies were way too nice. I was being so weird. I wanted to get out of here and this outfit as fast as possible. Do you guys know where the viewpoint is? Uh, is the viewpoint there? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So that, was the end of the challenge. We now need to go there. That is our end destination. You can actually see the sea already. Let me get rid of this shirt. 2.8 kilometer walk, 35 minutes. These roads are not made for pedestrians, but we will find a way. We have walked 14 kilometers today, and we are five hours in. The next location looks like a festival. I have no clue where I am. All right, so we have a bit of a surprise. So this is Howard. We are on his festival, and he has a challenge for me. We're in a camping area, yeah? Find a lot of characters here. What kind of characters? Interesting and colorful. Can I go to the restroom here real quick? Totally? You could. Thank you. Wanna risk it? Wanna risk it? At the end of the festival, you should never go to a restroom. Challenge number one. Challenge number one. <laughs> Challenge survive. Should I live? I enjoyed that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but there's also challenges apparently. I've got one for you. So a new challenge was waiting for me and I could already tell it was gonna be physical. Behind us we have the hamster wheel monkey bar challenge. The high score today is 87. So Stan needs 88 reps. Brother, good luck. Okay, okay, okay. And you gotta check out the crowd. There's just so many people watching. No pressure. And with so much pressure, I didn't want to fail. What? But I know the record was set by a ninja warrior and I was just completely drained from all the walking but also no food and water for hours now. There's no way. Oh. What a shame. Bro, I wish you luck. I would be really terrified right now. Thank you. You've made it this far. Clearly fitness isn't on your side today, but being an entertainer sure is. Golden opportunity perform on stage at the Earth Garden Festival for five minutes. Let's go. So now I have to perform on the main stage on the biggest festival of Malta. And I have no act. I have nothing to offer. I wish you the best of luck. We got you some shoes as well. Because you failed the hamster challenge, you're going to have to wear these Crocs until the end of the challenge. Sports mode. Sports mode. <laughs> I have to improvise yeah. and act really quickly. Is it on? It's on. Yeah? Hello everyone. It has always been my dream to perform in front of so many people. Thank you so much for showing up. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you for that enthusiasm. That yes, is good. Sir. I just want everyone to stay active and, and perform well. Uh, we're going to do some Wim Hof warming up methods in a squat position, just like that. Yes, joining, that's what I want to see. This is good. It's all about warming up the entire body. So you're also going to use your voice, right? So we're going to go, um, ch, ah, eh, um, ch, ah, eh, um, 
You guys were phenomenal. Um, this was my act. I hope everyone is warmed up and ready to go. Thank you all for showing up and thank you to Earth Festival for giving me some space here. Give it up! Well done. Thank you, man. That was fun. We might book you for next year. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What's that game? That was insane! Now let's continue on these crocs. Alright, challenge number five. This is it, the ultimate challenge. Walk to the sea and find your way to the capital city of Valletta to capture the flag and claim that you are truly bulletproof. I stood on a f***ing main stage, what the f***? We just started walking right away. We still had like an eight kilometer walk to go and we will arrive at around eight. The crocs are already feeling painful and I've literally just walked less than a kilometer on them. So I have to finish this before sundown. So we need to speed things up. Uh, we started running. Crazy thing is Andre is still running with me. 3.1 kilometer left. Should be 39 minutes. We're gonna do it faster. Estimated time of arrival is already below eight now. We're about to walk up to Manuel Island. I haven't seen water yet, I only have seen boats. Oh, there's water, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why I'm so happy seeing water is not just because I'm very thirsty. Water and boats mean the end of the country. We should be almost there. Let's get close to the water. Almost at the end. That is the bridge to the island. The last challenge is on that island. I'm feeling sticky and dirty, but my legs are actually feeling pretty good after 18.3 kilometers of walking. It's now 7.25 p.m. so I think we're actually gonna make it, but we still have some, some walking to do. And even though we knew we had limited time, we were still blown away by Malta and everything it had to offer. We gotta keep it up. We gotta be spot on the clock. clock. Right, so there's actually more people than us on this island. We were almost there and then I realized something. The capital of Malta, Valletta, is here. And there's only one way to cross it. Is this the last challenge? This is the last one. That is mine. That is yours. Do you see how small that is? It's not the best weather today. We will be waiting across the bay. It is now 7.55 p.m., almost 8. I have no clue how long this is going to take me. So I need to cross the ocean to reach the capital of Malta. And I'm not going to lie, I was pretty scared to step into this kayak on my own and be out there on a pretty rough sea with no one to help me. Whoa! Last night home, baby! I'm not even sure if this GoPro is safely attached, but here we go. I know a lot of people are terrified of the open sea. This is pretty close to it. I feel so alone here. Going the wrong way. Oh, oh, big wave, big wave. Break the waves. For some reason, I was way faster than everybody thought I would be. We're almost there, guys. It is now 8 p.m. exactly. They said it was gonna take me 20 to 30 minutes. The sun goes down at 8.15, but I think I'm faster than that. The only thing going through my mind right now is how insane today was. Yes, I kind of hate the two Bulletproof guys, but I also love them for getting me out of my comfort zone and making me do things that I would never do. Whenever I travel, I never see a country. I only focus on YouTube and making the best videos possible. And I also met so many of you guys. But the challenge is not over yet. Actually, I'm about to fill because there's almost no light anymore. I don't think there's a better way you can visit a country. Crazy. I'm searching for the guys. Where are they? Am I too fast? They are there. Yes. Is the sun down? This was epic. How does this work? Oh. This is it. We were all super happy, but we didn't complete the challenge yet. And it was getting dark fast. We're literally at the end of the island almost. Almost there. We still have some light. So we had to run 1.6 kilometers, a full mile with cameras to reach the end of the country. And even during this run. Yeah. How you doing? Yes. Can I get a photo? Of course. You guys are amazing. I'm at the end. We did it, man. Make sure to subscribe, smash the link and hit that bell. See you in the next episode. We walked 21.4 kilometers, half a marathon, and that is crossing Malta on foot.